you just don't expect a gorilla to be that way. You know, everybody thinks King Kong, big, stupid, dull-witted, and big, and blustery, and she was uh, small and sweet and creative. Over 40 years ago, Penny Patterson set out to discover if humans and gorillas could ever communicate. I was a student at Stanford, and a friend of mine said, this woman is doing this amazing thing, teaching sign language to a gorilla. And I was like, you have got to be kidding. Early on, Coco picked up around one new sign each month. And soon, Penny had noted Coco combining signs to ask for things. What began as a PhD to teach sign language to Coco turned into a lifelong relationship. It seemed like Penny was in love with Coco and the way in which a mother might be in love with a daughter except your daughter has the strength of 10 men. News about Coco made headlines across the world. Coco, who's a particularly intelligent gorilla... Coco is the subject of the longest language. ongoing ape language study to date. But while Penny's findings were seen as a major breakthrough by the media, there were some scientists who were less convinced. Penny Patterson is a overzealous mother who is very proud of her surrogate children and tends very much to project meanings onto those children that may not be apparent to another observer. There was a yawning gap between what you might believe and what you could prove these animals are doing. Penny believes it, and I think the public probably believes it. Her abilities to simply recognize herself in a mirror, she is able to point to that image and say, that's me, which indicates consciousness of self. She has this self-consciousness like a person does. Now, nearly half a century after the project began, the line between humans and apes is being redrawn. A court in Argentina has ruled that an orangutan can be granted some of the legal rights enjoyed by humans. What entitles humans to rights that other species of animals aren't entitled to? With thousands of hours of footage collected over 44 years, does Project Coco finally prove that animals can communicate with humans and even share their deep thoughts and feelings with us? Maybe these animals are thinking. There's a lot more going on in their heads than maybe we thought. Or are there some things that will always separate us from our closest relatives? How human can a gorilla be? What can her brain do like a human can do?